hip flexors. They're this group of muscles at the front of your hips. If you have an office job and you sit a lot, they are probably tight and they're probably a bit weak. So let's work on our hip flexors. We're gonna do a couple of strengthening, stabilizing exercises. And we're also going to do a couple of nice deep stretches. So I'm going to start with my left leg out just so you get the better view. My right knee is bent. My hands are behind. And all I'm doing is picking up my leg and extending it out. Knee bent. Leg extended. This is one of those poses or one of those strengthening movements that you can do when you're hanging out and watching TV, right? You're sitting there, you're extending, and you're bending, and you're strengthening your hip flexor. So there's one exercise, and you can come on down to your elbows, take your leg out, and just do little lifts. Bring it down, and lift. Don't forget, if you're hanging out watching TV, doing these to take little breaks. Don't forget to hit the other side. All right. Two stabilizing, strengthening exercises. We're gonna bend. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna flip to our table. Maybe take a little cat cow, rock it out. Just make sure our lower back is in a good place. And I like to get to these poses from downward facing dog. So I flip my knees under. You can absolutely come to them from standing. I will show you that. But for right now, I'm going to take my right foot between my hands, keep my left heel lifted. So all 10 toes are pointing towards the front of the mat. I love a knee stacked on ankle. Some people go past that puts extra strain on your knee. It's really that inward motion that you have to be careful of. So that's what we don't want. That's why I'll just cue a, a stacked knee. Just be mindful here. Big opening in the hip. So everything we just worked, everything that gets short when you're seated, gets open now. Hands can come up. And I love this pose because there's so much control, right? If your hips are feeling tight, just simply shorten up your stance. That's it. If you want it deeper, make it longer. So we're going to bring left foot to meet right because I'm going to show you how to get into this standing. So we're standing up tall. My left foot's good and grounded. And I'm just stepping my right back, landing on the ball of my foot. Heels lifted, that big stretch in front. I'm determining how much, how deep I want this pose. And I'm just kind of mindful that this knee feels fairly stacked and open, that it just feels safe and strong and isn't collapsing inward. So high lunge, from high lunge, we can drop our hands, take it to a low lunge, setting right knee down, pressing through the top of right foot. So you just want to be mindful here that there isn't too much pressure in your knee. That's why I say top of the foot. But you can always give your mat a little roll and bring that underneath your knee for more cushion. Draw shoulders back, lift up the chin. This is a nice way to get started. If you want more intensity, hands to the knee. You might even lift up your hips, sort of bring your tailbone down. I always tell my students, remember to relax your shoulders here. It's real easy to bring them up to your chin. Relax the shoulders. We love chin parallel to the ground because it means the vertebra and your neck are a nice alignment. Someday, one day, you might even bring your hands up, add a little back bend. But if you're just getting started, keep it low, keep it stable. Hands come down to frame, you curl your toes under. Stepping the foot back is just a notoriously hard transition. I warn folks about that all the time. Right foot comes between, left knee sets down, pressing through the top of our foot to take pressure out of the knee. We're deciding if we want to keep things low. Drawing shoulders back, lifting up the chin. Or if hands to knee feels good and stable in our body. Everybody's different. Every day is different. What worked yesterday might not work today. Grace, that's what we got to have for ourselves. Relax your shoulders, right? We're not adding ten uh, attention. We're looking to maximize the efficiency by relaxing into poses. We come on down, flip the toes under, last downward, 
and we just come back to the mat. So there you go. A couple of quick ways to both strengthen and release your hip flexors, those muscles at the front of your hip. Don't forget to subscribe to the page, and I'll see you soon.